asking for you tonight, taking a closer look into an unfortunate truth. First responders saw another very busy day today, uh, responding to more than a dozen overdoses. RTV 6's Liz Adiola sits side by side with those responders and shares how they work to save lives. I hear it often. You hear, you hear several a day. Calls that mean the difference between life and death for substance abusers. Charlie Glessing, a fill in EMS duty officer, has more than 35 years of experience saving lives under his belt. You never know exactly what you're going to be presented with. He says overdoses, however, are popping up more and more. For me personally, the last five years or so, it just seems like it's been getting uh, out, out of control. It's spread throughout the whole city. The suburb, the inner city, it, it doesn't really matter. Sirens blaring. <laughs> Crews rush to the scene. You might have six to eight, even up to ten people involved that are there. And so there's a little bit of, like, say, safety and security in those numbers. In this case, Wednesday night, the call was just for a person suffering from difficulty breathing. But Glessing says there are times when people call for help, but don't admit that it's an overdose out of fear of being arrested. While we may not have gone out for a run for an overdose here at Indianapolis Fire Department Station 11, according to dispatch, there were 13 runs for overdoses throughout the city since midnight. Reporting on the